I still believe in the resurrection. Former Congressman Jesse Jackson Jr. reacting after he's sentenced to two and a half years in prison. Good afternoon. Both Jesse Jackson Jr. and his wife Sandy sentenced to federal prison time today. Now, before that sentence was handed down, both of them gave tearful pleas for mercy. ABC 7's Ben Bradley was there for the sentencing, and as it was handed down, he joins us live once again from Washington, D.C. Ben? Linda Allen, Jesse Jackson Jr. spoke more emotionally, powerfully, and tearfully than any public official I've seen hauled before a federal judge. But in the end, it was likely his decision to cooperate early and plead guilty that helped him more than any words he spoke in court today. It could have been worse. Jesse Jackson Jr. sentenced to two and a half years. Prosecutors wanted four. I still believe in the power of forgiveness. I believe in the power of redemption. Today I manned up and tried to accept responsibility for the errors of my ways. Jackson made a last ditch attempt to spare his wife prison time. In court, he tearfully told the judge, give me her time. What she did was a subset of what I did, a culture I allowed to exist. The judge said no, saying the former Chicago alderman also enjoyed living large thanks to her husband's campaign fund, appliances for their home, furniture for the kids, furs and trips. This has been an extraordinarily difficult time for our family. The Reverend Jesse Jackson, his wife and other family members fought back tears as Jesse Jr. told the judge, I also want to apologize to my dad and my mother because I am an example for the whole family. The former congressman revealed he prefers serving his time farther from his family, saying, I asked for Alabama so I could be as far away from everybody as I could be for a while. He is still recovering, just has been very sick. This time a year ago, I really thought we may have lost him. I think he's strong enough now to accept the challenges put before him by the judge. The judge did not dispute Jesse Jackson Jr.'s bipolar diagnosis, but did say defense attorneys simply didn't present much evidence of the illness's severity or Jackson's treatment. She now is going to move forward into this period of time where she's going to be able to be with the children, get them through this difficult time, and rebuild her life. Jesse Jr. also says he's looking forward, not back. I still believe in the power of forgiveness. I believe in the power of redemption. The judge has agreed to a Jackson family request to allow Jesse Jr. to report to prison first. He'll do that sometime after November 1st. He also has to pay back $750,000, the money that he stole from his campaign fund. Today in court, Jesse Jr. said he believes he will be able to pay that money back to the government. He says he hopes before he has to report to prison. That's latest live in Washington. Ben Bradley, ABC 7 News. Alan? Ben, do we know when the Bureau of Prisons will decide where he will be serving the sentence? Well, the judge agreed to uh, a request that Jesse Jr. serve uh, his time at the federal prison camp uh, in Montgomery, Alabama. She's also recommending that Sandy Jackson serve her time at a women's facility in Florida. But those are just recommendations. It's the Bureau of Prisons that ultimately decides who goes where. Right. Not, of course, that decision still to come. We haven't heard that. All right, Ben, thanks so much for reporting live from Washington, D.C. Well, this has been a long road leading to this point for Jesse Jackson, Jr. He was first elected to Congress back in December of 1995 after winning that special election to replace embattled Representative Mel Reynolds. His personal problems actually began to unravel in June of last year when Jackson took a medical leave from Congress. It was a month later that his office reported that he was being treated for a mood disorder. Then in August of last year, the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, said that Jackson was being treated for bipolar disorder. In November, sources revealed that Jackson was negotiating a plea deal with prosecutors who were investigating him as well as his finances. Then just a few weeks later, he resigned from Congress, citing health issues in a letter to House Speaker John Boehner. In that letter, he said that the constituents of the 2nd District deserve a full-time legislator in Washington, something that he could not be for the foreseeable future. And then it was in February of this year. Federal charges filed against the former congressman and his wife, the former alderman, Sandy Jackson. Five days later, they both pleaded guilty to the criminal charges against them. Linda? 
And now to some background on the judge in this case. Judge Amy Berman Jackson has an extensive legal career. The Harvard graduate appointed as a United States district judge in March of 2011. And then prior to that, she was in private practice in Washington, D.C. as a member of Trout Cacheras. That is where she specialized in complex criminal and civil trials and appeals. And then from 1980 to 1986, Judge Jackson had served as an assistant United States attorney for the District of Columbia. Well, prosecutors and Justice Department officials releasing some strong statements criticizing the Jacksons today. U.S. Attorney Ronald Machen writing, Jesse Jackson Jr.'s journey from the halls of Congress to federal prison is a tragedy of his own making. The prison sentence imposed today should serve as a wake-up call to other public officials who believe there are no consequences for betraying the public trust. Richard Weber, the IRS Criminal Investigation Division Chief, writing, This case exposed layers of greed and corruption masked by the illusion of success. The Jacksons were granted the privilege of political office to better the lives of others, but used it instead for their own selfish benefit. Valerie Parley, the assistant FBI director in charge, saying Mr. Jackson and his wife selfishly supported themselves with campaign funds and went to great lengths to hide their illegal activity, but they can hide no more as they pay the price with today's sentences.